talking about is the difference between power lifters and bodybuilders and why power lifters are stronger than bodybuilders. Now, the thing about it is, it, it, there's always a uh, confusion with the two. And most people think that you can have the best of both worlds. When, in my opinion, you really can't. Even though bodybuilders try to have the best of both worlds, um, you, you really can't. Because the, the, the lifts are totally different. And the uh, objective is totally different from both uh, weightlifting uh, strategies. Now, we're going to start off with power lifters. <clears throat> power lifters are concerned about nothing but the basics. That's the only thing that they are concerned about, the basic uh, lifts, the, uh, the uh, Olympic lifts. Um, bench press, deadlift, uh, squats. Uh, stuff like that. That's all they're concerned about. They're not concerned about how big their arms are. They don't concentrate on their on, on their arms or anything like that. They don't concentrate how big their chest is. None none of that stuff right there really that they are really concerned about. All they're concerned about is how much weight they can move uh, in good Olympic form. That's it. That's all they care about. Everything else is just an add on if they get it. They don't care about that kind of stuff. All they care about is what they can move. Period. Now, the reason the two lifts are different is because uh, the Olympic uh, bench press or uh, the the bench press for dead for um, power lifters is 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 totally different because they are using uh, drive to allow them to lift heavier and heavier weights. Drive. They're losing. They're using from the uh, the legs all the way up, pushing up to move that weight. You know, they're using their whole bodies to try to lift that weight when it comes down to the bench press. And we're gonna kind of like stay with the bench press, you know, to try to uh, simplify uh, what I'm saying here. So they're using drive to move that weight, and because they're using drive in their whole bodies to uh, to move that weight. They can move a whole lot more weight. But at the same time, the rep range that they work in is, is minute. It's small rep range. I mean, as far as rep. I mean, they might get up to eight. Might. But most of the time, they're hovering around five and two. You know, because two is not their maximum. One is a maximum. It's a max lift because that's all you can do at this one time. So they're, they're concerned from two to five reps most of the time. And that's what makes uh, power lifters concentrate more or less on the tendon muscles. The tendon muscles being natural, being natural because that's, that's what I uh, pretty much concentrate on. Uh, it's the natural person. But being natural, a person would appear to be smaller, but a lot stronger. I mean, in other words, their size and what they can move doesn't necessarily look like they should be able to move that amount of weight by the way they look because they are working tendon muscles. Power lifters are strictly on tendon muscles. And um, you have a lot of bodybuilders that, that tries to do both ways, but it really doesn't work that way because power lifters are constantly training for weight all the time. That's that's all they concentrate on. Just like bodybuilders concentrate on how big they can make their muscles get. Now, the uh, like I said, the uh, power lifters they use that drive to move the weight. Now, when it comes down to bodybuilders, bodybuilders, if they want their chest to grow and get bigger, they're not working necessarily the tendon muscles, even though even being natural, the tendon muscles get stronger first before the actual muscles start to show the outcome of being larger. They are, the way they bench press is more or less a, uh, a, a type of isolation type of uh, exercise. It's 
when they bench press, they're not using drive. And if you ever catch a person that claims to be a bodybuilder and they're using drive with the legs and all that kind of stuff to push the weight forward, then they have, they have that same confusion that most people have about bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is not about how much weight you can lift. It's about how big you can make your muscles be. And you can't make your muscles big with two to five reps. So that's how come uh, bodybuilders' rep range is from 10 to 12. Because it needs that, um, that blood volume. That blood volume to stretch the fascia of the muscle to allow the muscle to be able to grow larger. That, that's what you're concerned about. You're concerned about how much blood you can get into the muscle. Because, again, of the industry, this is why there is a confusion amongst uh, natural people on really the best way to work out for whatever it is that they want to do. In reality, they have to make a decision on whether or not they want to be a, um, a power lifter, whether or not you want to train for strength, or whether or not you want to uh, train as a bodybuilder. Because you can't have the best of both worlds, even though they say you can. But you got to remember, those professional bodybuilders are on steroids. So the weights that they lift are going to be astronomical for a bodybuilder. Because they got help to lift that much weight. But you'll notice that the rep range that they are using is around 10 to 12 reps. Even though they're benching uh, 315, 400 pounds, they're still doing upwards of 10 reps with that weight. So that's the misnomer, and that's the industry confusing the works for natural people because they really don't understand what it is that they need to do to get their bodies the way they envision it. Now, you have to make a choice. <clears throat> If you want to do, if you want to be incredibly strong, you have to train like a power lifter. If you want to be strong, if you want that that brute strength, but you're not gonna look like a bodybuilder. You're gonna look like a power lifter. You're not gonna really be impressive looking as far as how big you are. It, you, you're just not gonna do it because you are working the dense muscles of the body rather than the outward muscles of the body. The bodybuilding is the outward muscles. So they're not really building up that um, that uh, that tendon strength the way that you are with the heavy weight that's compressing on the muscles. They are concerned with the outward muscles. So make a choice. That's 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 what you have to do when you're natural. You have to make a choice. I mean, you can try to train both ways, but it's only going to hinder one way or the other one. You're not gonna, that means you're going to be a mediocre power lifter and a, and a mediocre bodybuilder because you're not concentrating on what it is that you're trying to, to do. If you're a bodybuilder, concentrate strictly on getting blood into the muscle. That means you're not going to be a strong person per se. You're not going to be lifting incredible amounts of weight because the weight is not what make you bigger. The blood flow and the pump of the muscle is what makes you bigger in consistency. Consistency with a bodybuilder that's natural is tremendously important. It's the top, it's the number one thing. You got to be consistent at lifting those weights because you got to keep that fascia of the muscles uh, stretched at all times. You got to keep your muscles inflated at all times. Keep them fed with fresh, uh, fresh blood and nutrients. And that's going to make that muscle grow. That's what you're concerned about. And as long as you are concentrating on how much weight you can lift, you're never going to uh, excel as a natural bodybuilder. You're never going to get your body to blossom and balloon up the way you want it to if you keep concentrating on heavier and heavier weights. You're not going to make it there. Like I said, powerlifters are not concerned about how big they are. All they, all they care, if they are 120 pounds, all they care if they, they can squat 500 pounds. They, they don't care how big they are. They, they care less about what their bodies look like. All they care about is moving weight. That's the difference in the two people. You know, you don't see no power lifter, no power lifter sitting up wasting their time training for a pump like a bodybuilder. 
they don't waste their time with that. All they all they want is those deep tendon muscles to be strengthened on a regular basis. Whereas a bodybuilder is concerned about the outward muscle, even though the tendon muscle grows and, and gets stronger uh, first on a natural person, but the tendon muscle won't be as strong because they're not using as much weight. And the reason they're not using as much weight, the uh, bodybuilder, is to force more blood into the muscle. And you can't get that done trying to lift heavier and heavier weights. Your rep range is going to be uh, too low to get that blood volume. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to show you. Make a choice. Bodybuilding or powerlifting. You can't have both in the natural realm. The industry has made fools of all natural people with that particular theory. You can't do both of them. Okay, you got people that are going to, I know they're going to say, uh, well, Ryan Coleman, Ryan Coleman. Ryan Coleman was a power lifter first. That's why he was stronger than the bodybuilders. All of them. Because he was a power lifter first. That's where he started from, a power lifter. So his tendons were already super strong because that's what he concentrated on for years before he migrated over to uh, bodybuilding. And at the same time, remember, he's enhanced. Enhanced. When Ronnie Coleman was a power lifter, he looked like a power lifter. That's why... He didn't excel when it came down to uh, pro uh, bodybuilding because he didn't have that size that he really needed in that detail to, to dominate those guys. So he had to start doing what they started doing. That's, that's the way it is. But Ronnie Coleman started off as a power lifter. He already had the tendon muscles to lift as heavy as he did. But you'll notice that his rep range was 10 to 12. All the time. So, make a choice. Powerlifting, bodybuilding. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.